hello guys welcome back to a brand new video a week today we said goodbye to the 2018-19 Premier League season so today I'm going to go over my table predictions see how many I got right um, see where I could possibly improve for the next season see, see what I think about a lot of teams so guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go <laughs> So the first round where I kick off with is the bottom three. Um, I went with Cardiff, uh, Huddersfield and Southampton. I did get two out of three right, but in the wrong positions. Um, Cardiff finished in 18th and Huddersfield finished bottom. Um, you can see how many points they finished up on, on the screening. Um, Huddersfield finished on 16th. I think they really did have a disappointing season. But I think a big mistake was getting rid of Tom Ince um, with my summer window and not finding a replacement for um, Tom Ince. Um, uh, as I've said, I went with Cardiff in 20th place who did finish in 18th. 34 points, nearly reached safety, nearly put Brighton in there. Um, but didn't quite work out that way. Um, who knows what happened if that plane crash didn't happen with uh, Salah on it. Then we could be looking at a different story altogether. Um, that was a very unfortunate news. But we did have some more as well. And I'll talk about that as we get further on in this video. Um, then, right, so now we go up to 17th to 10th. Um, 17th I went with Fulham, who did go down, who spent over a hundred million in the transfer windows and still couldn't stay up. So, you know, that's where you really do have to look at this game and think, do you think money's the way forward? Um, you know, and that proves that if you spend too much, it ain't going to work. If you spend too little, you know, you're struggling to survive anyway. Um, in 16th, I went with Wolves. Wolves had a brilliant season. Uh, I think they qualify for Europe now because City won the FA Cup today as I'm recording this. Um, you know, with Wolves finishing in 7th, this window is very important for Wolves and you Wolves fans. Don't invest, you will end up near the drop next season. I'm not saying that to be evil, I'm just saying that because two teams, uh, Burnley and Leicester, both played European football and nearly fell into the, uh, the trap. Uh, Burnley nearly done it this season, I think Leicester was the year before. Uh, the year they won the title was the year after that, I'll put it that way. Um, but yeah, Wolves had a very good season. Um, I'm looking to see where I strengthen this summer window. And then obviously take it further. Um, and then obviously before the next season starts, I will be doing a, a Premier League prediction table for the, uh, the up and coming season. Um, in 15th, I went with Crystal Palace, who finished in 12th. Uh, Crystal Palace sort of had an up to down season, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, they lost both games to Brighton, their rivals. They got points when they needed it. Um, and it's thanks to Palace while Brighton is staying in the Premier League as well. Uh, just put that in there uh, to let you all know about that. Um, where can Palace strength, uh, strengthen the window? Well, there's rumours that Sahar's leaving. They wants to go. So that's going to be an interesting story. Um you know, in this summer window. I do do daily uh, news on my channel, so make sure you subscribe for that. Uh, it covers all, all around the world football. So, you know, transfer moves, um, club moves, anything like that, I will cover it on a daily basis. Um, 14th is Newcastle, who did finish with 13th. Um, now, Newcastle still... Not sure about Rafael Benitez staying or not. Um, you know, it's one of them things where I don't know. If you get you get him to stay, he ain't gonna be money. He ain't gonna be happy because of money. 
Uh, I know the club's not happy about the money, especially the fans. Uh, whether Mike Ashley has got it or not, I do reckon he has. I'm going to stick up for the Newcastle fans and stick it behind them. Because there's no way you can go in and buy business and then not say you ain't got the money to buy players. So, you know, yet again, an interesting season for Newcastle. And next season's going to be even more interested. In 13th, I went with Brighton Live Albion, who nearly did fall in the trap door. He finished in 17th with 36 points. Uh, Brighton stayed up with two points um, in the window, in the uh, season, sorry. Um, but Brighton do need to strengthen a lot in this window. Uh, playing a lot of defensive football and it nearly didn't pay off. Draw into Wolves, draw into Arsenal, beating United. That's just some of the highlights of Brighton's season. The low points, 2-0 up at Fulham, losing at 4-2. Losing 5-0 to Bournemouth at home. Um, you know, and there's a, uh, losing to Cardiff 2-0 at home. Um, that's a bit unacceptable um, for anyone with Brighton's calibre. And do uh, second season syndrome, but Brighton ain't got our excuse that season. So, yet again... Another interesting season for Brighton. Uh, in 12th, they soon turned into my dark horses of the season. I went with Watford. I put Watford there purely because I didn't think they had the power that I did have. Um, which is why I did quickly turn into my dark horses with uh, Watford. Um, you know, Watford just lost the FA Cup as well. So they ain't had a bad season overall. Uh, they did finish one place higher up than what I predicted. But yet again, it is going to be another interesting season going forward for uh, Watford. Um, the next one I went to predict was West Ham in 11th. Now, I know I've underpredicted this uh, quite early on in the Premier League season, but you can't do anything. Um, once obviously we've done this, we can't go and change it. So, uh, West Ham look like a strong team. I will be expecting, depends how I do in this window, to start pushing for Europe next season, and that's not a lie. Um, with West Ham, you've got the likes of Philippe Anderson, Chitarito, Joe Hart. There's no excuses for that. Um, but yeah, going to have to wait and see to see where I strengthen in the window. Um, in 10th, I went with Leicester. Um, Leicester did finish one place higher than what I predicted, but yet again, um, that took me by surprise a bit. I weren't expecting them to be so sticky during the season, but then be loose within the season. They're a bit of an iffy team this season. For Leicester, um, whereas next season comes in, I don't know where we're going to roughly finish yet. It's going to take some thinking while when I do my prediction table to put all these teams. But yeah, yeah again, I've got to see what business they do within the window. Um, so now we go from 10th to 5th. Um, in ninth place, I went with Bournemouth. Um, you know, Bournemouth, I don't know how to say how they did this season. I think they did okay to finish on 45 points. But you were all expecting a lot more considering they've been in the table. I think it's four or five years now. But to survive in a little ground that they do, I think they do alright. Um, but yet again, a lot of business to be done in the uh, current window. Um, in 8th place I've got a spot on, which is why you can see Nault next to the side of them, is Everton. Uh, you know, Sigurdsson had a brilliant season, Richie Arneson, uh, Theo Wilcott, they just some of the key names, had a brilliant season. Uh, they had a few downers as well, um, but so does everyone in the season, I think. So, you know, with Everton doing that, it ain't so bad. Um, in 7th place, and not put me so high because of last season, um, was Burnley. Um, Burnley 
As I said, nearly fell into a trap door, just managed to survive on 40 points, which was six points above the drop after all. Um, you know, Cardiff dropping points, Brighton dropping points, Burnley did secure safety a lot easier than, let's say, Brighton did. Um, but yet again, you've got to. I think where Brighton uh, mucked up, and I'll say this now, um, I think it was the FA Cup that done it for them this season. But, but back to Burnley. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, good season overall, 15th survival, now I've got to push on as well. Uh, in 6th place, I went with Chelsea, um, who did finish in 3rd, Champions League football for Chelsea next season. Um, likes of Hazard leaving, that's going to be an interesting story, you know, brewing around. Um, but yeah, that is going to be another interesting story, uh, to see where they're going to strengthen and to see where they finish up. Next, uh, next season. In fifth place, I went with Tottenham. Um, now, Tottenham did finish in the Champions League places thanks to Arsenal, thanks to United, um, not picking up points when they should have done. Um, yeah, again, Tottenham got a new ground to settle into, uh, so I'm expecting a lot more of them next season. But yeah, again, do I strength in the window or do I stick with the same squad they got? Let's not forget they ain't uh, bought a player in the window for two years. In fourth place, I went with Arsenal, who did finish in fifth place. Europa League football for Arsenal next season. Unless they can win the Europa League against Chelsea, um, that's going to be an interesting game overall. Um, I'm tr finding it... I'm, I'm interested to see what I do if champion if uh, Chelsea win the Europa League to you know because that way they both qualify for it twice. So I'm interested to see what I go do with that if that does happen. Um, but Arsenal bad season away from home, really bad season away from home. At home they weren't too bad until I lost to Crystal Palace and it's downhill pretty much from there. So, you know, I'm expecting Arsenal to really do a lot of uh, transfer, uh, transfers this year, get a lot of players in and throw a lot out. That's going to be another interesting story as this uh, transfer window goes along. In third place, I went with Man United. Um, Jose Mourinho got the sack halfway through the season. Um, you know, likes of Man United um, having to, uh, you know, change their manager. Anagar Solskjaer won nine games in a row, and then he went downhill. To finish on 66 points in sixth place, that's a bad uh, season for United and overall, even though they won that nine games. Um, in second place, I went with Liverpool. Yeah, again, got it spot on. Um, you know, with Liverpool, deserves to win the title overall, I personally do think. But, it unfortunately, was not to be. And in first place, I went with City. Dead on. Excellent season. Just on the treble. Uh, the League Cup, Premier League and the FA Cup. Um, but uh, Manchester City had a brilliant season. Where are they going to strengthen this window? Um, but as I said, on top of the program, uh, on top of this video, guys, I do a daily uh, news feed on world football. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.